I hope you can hear me. Um, this is our um, presentation. Are there any questions? <laughs> okay, I think there are. Um, so let's try to explain our vision, um, what we understand as an interactive visualization. Um, therefore, we prepared some presentations and here we go. Um, at first, we are glad to hear today. Uh, my name is Arno Zagara. This guy here is Janis Bullard. Um, now my oh presentation mode. I have to start the application in a presentation mode by clicking this arrow. Okay, now my interaction tool works. Okay. Um, um, we are from the Uni University of Hamburg. Um, this guy here is Janis Bullard and uh, Rüdiger Heinz uh, is uh, today at work, so he cannot be here. But um, we three are the core development team of Dialog Maps. Um, at first, some theory about our vision of interactive media. Uh, our vision. As an interactive visualization is a technology used in architecture, medicine, physics, and other disciplines to get a better understanding of complex circumstances or issues. We want to use interactive visualizations in collaborative learning or meeting contexts. In this, participants are involved in interactive discourses to bring together their individual knowledge. The result of these discourses are often documented as text-based meeting units um, and sometimes the results are offline documented as integrated visualizations like mind maps, meter plan walls, graphical recording and so on. But we want as a result uh, of a discourse a digital generated interactive visualization. Next slide. Okay, this guy here, Arno Rolf, Professor, University of Hamburg, uh, um, developed the Micropolis model. It is a framework of series, methods, and models of several disciplines in order to understand the interactions that occur between development and design of information technology on the one hand and uh, the changes in, the changes in organization in society on the other side. Okay, you don't understand this visualization, uh, uh, but this is the starting point from our development. Um, this guy here, Otto Neurath, has designed um, a picture language called um, uh, Isotype. With uh, Isotype, he um, generated um, encyclopedias uh, only built by pictograms. And this idea, we want uh, rebirthing. Um, the next uh, serial background is um, from David Sebet. He uses uh, visualization in a meeting context to structure wicked problems or other uh, complex circumstances. So this is another theoretical background. And at last, uh, we are inspired by Vannevar Bush's idea of a memory extender called Mimex, which allows to navigate in complex multimedia data material like this um, uh, visualization along predefined associative trails. This presentation is an associative trail. Okay, it's one associative trail in, okay. Um, for more details, please read our scientific publication and Google Dialog Maps. This is the theoretical background. Um, okay, this is Mimix. Um, other software solutions. Um, you know Prezi. Prezi is an online presentation software for storytelling. It has an, a zooming user interface which allows users to zoom in and out of the presentation media and allows users to display and navigate through information. It's closed 
software and okay that's it it's closed software <laughs> <laughs> so um the other on the other side oh i i forgot to show pretty in a static mode and that's pretty look looks like our material so and then there is uh, sozi here um <coughs> This is um, a plugin for Inkscape that allows you to turn uh, Inkscape diagrams in animated SYGs for presentation. <coughs> this uh, software is open source, it's good, but it's <coughs> not designed for collaborative use. And this is the reason why we um, develop an open source software called Dialog Maps. For first and better understanding, Dialog Maps is partly identical to Prezi, but it's more. And we will demonstrate it in a few minutes. Before, I will talk about architecture of the architecture of Dialog Maps. So I use the same material, the same um, interactive visualization, but I open a new. Oh, I have to close the presentation mode by clicking the X. Now I open the teleporter. This is, this is our implementation from Mimex, <laughs> the teleporter. Um, we open another associative trails, a, a trail um, and start uh, the show again. Our presentation mode. Yes, that's it. Thanks a lot. Um, Okay, uh, you can see Dialog Maps is a um, web application. Um, on the client side, the Java code will be generated by Google Web Toolkit. Um, Dialog, Dialog Map is compatible with Firefox and Chrome, and uh, the whole map is in SVG, SYG. And on the server side, Oh, this is the client side. On the server side, um, Dialog Maps is implemented as Java, as in Java code, and uh, yeah, it runs in an application server tested with um, Tomcat. There's a MySQL database or an SQL database connected native with a JDBC, no Hibernate, very small database connection. Okay, um, in the database, uh, every map is divided in its parts. Um, you can see the dialog map here. I make it. The dialog map here um, holds any map elements, and this element uh, could be uh, a shape or a pictogram, text, image, freeform, handwriting, we will see it in a few minutes, in one minute, um, errors or something like that. And every element on a map could reference a new interactive visualization. So uh, the result of this is a um, map tree directed um, you start with your root map and then you can define a deeper a drill down by deeper looks uh, damn it, thanks a lot okay okay here an older version of dialog maps you can see um, the map uh, as a um, tree so with the teleporter or our implementation of Mimex you can zoom in and out of the uh, map. At last, the project is hosted uh, uh, by SourceForge. It's open source. Feel free. Our infrastructure is a in bug tracking system, uh, um, Jenkins and uh, Wikimedia. So we organize our development team. Okay, now we start the live presentation mode. I let's go back. Sorry. All right. I'm. Uh, there's a lot of functionality. I'd like to show as much as possible. Uh, I guess uh, I, I, I'm, I will have to hurry, so bear with me. Uh, we have four four topics. Um, 
And we, I'm going to talk briefly about the maps, then we we'll show all the things we can do with elements. Then uh, uh, everything we have to navigate within the maps, and uh, at last uh, the uh, collaboration tools. All right, we're starting with the maps. It's very short. Um, as mentioned, we have uh, route maps and sub maps. Um, you can load only route maps. Um, every route map can hold as much sub maps as you want, as you need. Um, saving is uh, uh, not a problem. Uh, everything is saved automatically. The user doesn't have to think about it. Every time you change something, it's saved automatically. And that's already it about the maps. Then our toolbox. Well, we have. Um, different kinds of elements we can add. We have um, drawings or writings by hand, if you need them, for, well, your process of thought, maybe. Um, you can activate or deactivate them if you if you want to present something you might might you might don't want to you don't want to uh, have your hand written stuff on there. Then we have um, basic shapes you can use, and we have arrows, different kinds of arrows you can use. Every, everything is SVG. Uh, we have a um, text editor, <coughs> which works, and we have our standard shapes. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there. For example, the reindeer you already you can already see. Um, yeah. Another thing you can do is upload your own images, upload um, your image sets if you want, if you need, for your work. So, what can we do with our um, elements? Um, well, we can copy them. We can paste lots of them. Um, oh. We can uh, align them as uh, the way we need them. Oh. So um, we can rotate them, we can flip them. So every, basically everything you need to edit uh, elements is there. Uh, also, if you have a plus size reindeer, something like that, uh, you can um, align them on the top, on the bottom. Uh, the way you need them. Uh, this is also working with uh, smart lines, with magnetic lines that are helping to uh, add everything where you need it. And for special effects, you can also put them in circles with one click of a button. So two other things you can do with elements. Uh, one is uh, you can add attachments to them. We, you can add PDF, images, websites, or videos. Um, it's very easy, everything is automatic. And you can start them from here <coughs> if you need them, or as, uh, if I have the time, I'm going to show you how to start them from a presentation. And the last thing, uh, we can enter uh, an element to um, to specify things, uh, for example, if you if you if you want to um, if you if you want to visualize um, a certain process and you're using a couple of steps, you can uh, go into one step and um, define it a little better. So, for example, we can go into the reindeer and define what is a reindeer made of probably lots of love <laughs> and leaves and water, and we can go into the water and define what is water made of, um, that is hydrogen and oxygen. Um, now, um, the navigation. Well, there's panning, obviously. It's very important. We have zooming. Everything is with mouse or with buttons. Also, we have uh, the zooming tool. That is pretty helpful. Uh, we have the home button where you can uh, set your favorite uh, position and then always go back to there. And we have the show all, all elements button because if, if a map grows, uh, th these maps can grow very large and then you have always the button that is your emergency exit if you want. <coughs> Two other tools for navigation. There's the helicopter. It's 
al always displaying the whole map, um, including uh, a square for the uh, screen detail, like you know it from video games, so you know where you are. And another important pool, tool, another important tool, if you're um, working with um, submaps, is the structure graph. Uh, there you can see where, how many, uh, yeah, you can see the tree of your dialog map. And you can jump into a certain map to work in there. Now, where we are, where are we? Collaboration, yes. We have a chat. Chat room is global, so everybody using dialog maps at the, at the same time can uh, talk with each, can talk with each other. Um, if you want to invite one of the people in your map, it's just one click of a button, and then uh, you can work together on one certain map, on one specific map. Um, and then there's the highlight tool. I think I do have the time for that right now. Uh, what's highlighting doing? Um, highlighting helps you to um, to highlight uh, certain elements on the screen while the others are faded out. Um, it's helpful sometimes to um, emphasize something. And the last tool is the teleporter. We've se already seen it in action. Um, we can start a new path on our map. Uh, there's the um, standard slide. Um, there are three slides, actually. This is the standard slide. Then we um, incorporated the, um, the highlighting already in the teleporter. So there are highlight uh, slides. And then we also have the uh, attachment slides. Um, can start attachments from your uh, within your presentation, and it looks like this. Well, not standard, and then the highlighting, and then the um, attachment. And I think we're done, right? Right. Thank you. We have time for one question. OK, one question, please. Who will be the one? Yes. That was very far behind in the room. Go, 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 go. Super. Uh, can we access the, the demo somewhere? Because the, the URL uh, is not working, I think. OK, you can uh, on the, our nightly build. Um, dialog maps. Hello, Matt. Informatik. Informatik Uni Hamburg DE Dev. And then you can uh, log in with Dev. Don't tell it, everybody. Uh, anybody. Dev. And then you can use it. It's a nightly build, and the <laughs> login data verification doesn't start. Yeah, the server crashed a couple of hours ago. So, okay, but it will work soon. Yeah, uh, please come soon. Uh, please come later again. <laughs> <laughs> An hour a day will work. Thanks. Thank you.